I'm back. Road Rants for the Matrix and Road Show. And for these purposes, let's say Road's Rants on Star Wars because I am going to rant on the book of Boba Fett once again. Yesterday, I put out my spoiler review for Episode 2 and 3. Look, kind of liked Episode 2. Hated Episode 3. What is going on with this show? One of the things I did a video on a couple of weeks ago was... When the audience scores came out on Rotten Tomatoes for this show, this show's got a lot of issues. A lot of issues. I mean, Robert Rodriguez is involved. John uh, John Favreau, Dave Filoni involved in this show. I had high hopes. I'm a massive, massive Boba Fett fan. What in the hell's going on with this show? I mean... This is crazy. I actually had to utter the words yesterday when doing my review when these ridiculous Power Rangers speeder bikes showed up. I had to utter the words Ryan Johnson and Canto Bite. The last Jedi came out of my mouth. Okay. Um, that's frightening to me. There's way too much in this show that feels like real life, that feels like us. Not the Star Wars galaxy. I've got an issue with that. It was one of my issues with The Last Jedi. There was so much of that movie that didn't feel like Star Wars that I don't even consider it to be a Star Wars movie. I mean, I murdered that movie. I absolutely hammered it. And it's clear, it's clear there has been a a gargantuan step down in writing for this show versus The Mandalorian. It feels rushed. It feels pathetic. And look, the audiences are starting to show it, show it on Rotten Tomatoes. Two weeks ago when I made that video, the audience scores had showed up and they were 84%. Okay. Not terrible. Not terrible. Okay. Not terrible. When the show first started, that was day one, episode one. Now, Let's go ahead and take a look. Now, number one, uh, we'll just flip over. This is Matrix's video right here. And uh, you can see there's those damn fluorescent speeder bikes. I absolutely hated this. I mean, he hated it. Um, I didn't like it. I didn't like it. Now, flash forward, the Mandalorian. This is the Mandalorian. It has a 91%. Uh, average audience score a 91 percent, folks people like the mandalorian people in the fandom menace really liked the mandalorian they did few people didn't like it a lot of people did like it the writing was good we felt like it respected star wars and it and and what's happened is they've taken boba fett din jaren was more boba fett than boba fett is I'm not going. I don't understand what's going on with Tamara Morrison. Um, some of the dialogue he's got, I don't love, and uh, it is a blatant step down. And now, this is starting to reflect in the Rotten Tomato score because it has plummeted. Now, the Rotten Tomato score is now seventy-one percent. It is 71% average audience score after episode three. It is clear. It is clear 20% less than the Mandalorian now. Average audience score. It is clear. Audiences are not liking this show nearly to the extent that they like the Mandalorian. And, I mean, compared to the Mandalorian, this show's a joke. I, I mean, I'm floored by how bad it is. Um... I feel like that, I I said yesterday, they they did the tragedy. They knew the tragedy was going to hit with audiences. They knew that episode was going to knock it out of the park. I think they saw what Robert Rodriguez did with Boba Fett, and they said, oh, my God, let's just do a show. And then I truly believe they all started taking a shit on a table, picking it up, and throwing it against the wall. To see what would stick. I mean, I'm floored. If I didn't know any better, if I had blinders on right now, I would believe Ryan Johnson wrote 
part of this show. I would truly believe that. Because there are Ryan Johnson-like moments in this show. I never in a million years thought when John Favreau and Dave Filoni was involved that we would get anything where I would ever utter the god-awful words of Ryan Johnson out of my mouth. But yeah, it feels like that sociopath wrote this show. It is unbelievable. It is unbelievable. Um, there are very, very few things I like about this show right now. I, I, I mean, this is this is this could be a travesty of Last Jedi like proportions. Why, you may ask, because of the expectation level. When people were coming out of the Force Awakens, going in. To the Last Jedi, we had all these questions. Every all this stuff was going to get answered. You know, Ray was going to get training. All this stuff was going to happen, and then none of it happened. We came out of the Mandalorian. Expectations were up here. Oh, we really liked the Mandalorian. Blah blah blah. Boom. We get a Ryan Johnson like plummet. Okay, we haven't reached that level yet, but this thing has lost. 13 percentage points in three episodes. 13 percentage points since the first episode. And it's clear, audiences isn't loving this. It, at this rate, this thing could end up being rotten. It's got a chance. It's got a real chance. If there is not a dramatic step up in quality, this thing's going to end up rotten. The, the only way it won't end up rotten is if the Disney Star Wars fans try to make a point to save this, save this show on Rotten Tomatoes. And there becomes an agenda behind it. Because it's, it's heading in the direction of being rotten right now. Something's got to change. Major. I mean, look, Boba Fett hired these Power Ranger bikers. That means they're going to be around, and they're awful. They're awful. I don't want to ever... Look, there's been two elements in this show that I don't. I didn't want to see on the screen. I really didn't need to see the Tuscans. Um, I didn't. Okay, that turned out to be okay. But at least I knew what and who the hell the Tuscan Raiders were. These bikers? They're awful. Like a bunch of little spoiled SJWs all got on their shiny little bikes from today. They're Pee Wee Herman bikes. Audiences don't like this show. It's, it's, it's heading down the direction. Uh, I saw an article. I may do a video on it. But just a side note, I saw where the demand to watch this show is not nearly what The Mandalorian was. And that's because, look, people saw the first episode and went, oh, no. And then they probably watched the second episode and was like, oh, no. And then, honestly, I got to wonder how many people actually watched the third episode at this point. It, it, this, this, all of a sudden, this raises massive concerns for Obi-Wan. Massive. Yikes. I mean, we can't just say Ewan McGregor and Hayden Christensen are coming back. It's going to hit because we got Tamora Morrison right now. And so far, that hasn't helped. Tell me what you think, Matrix and Roadshow fans. I'm not, I'm not being too hard on this show, I can tell you right now. As of right now, I'm about to say something. I think I said it last night. Solo A Star Wars Story was better than this show is right now. Honestly, the majority of Solo the Star Wars Story is markedly better, considerably better, and more entertaining than this show is right now. And Solo wasn't a great Star Wars movie. Let's be real. It was kind of, I said it was, quote, pretty good. I tried to be fair to that movie. There were parts of that movie I absolutely hated. But for the most part, at least I was entertained for the movie. This is worse. So far, it is worse. God. 
Peace. I'm out. Till next time.